All right, all right. Check it, check it out. DB4 here, and welcome back to the channel. And welcome to my review of One Piece Odyssey. Let's get it. Now, One Piece Odyssey was developed by ILCA, and it was published by Bandai Namco. You know they're real good at these types of games. The game was released on PlayStation, Xbox, and PC on January 13th, 2023. Now look, One Piece Odyssey has to be one of the dopest, most exciting gaming experiences I've had in a long time when it comes to JRPGs. And if you're a fan of the anime and manga series like me, then this is definitely going to be a joy to play this game. The game blends action-packed combat with an engaging storyline seamlessly. It captures the spirit of the One Piece world faithfully. The attention to detail Recreating the dope characters and the amazing environments is definitely impressive. The open world design, the exploration, even the discovery was fun. It felt like there was something to find around every single corner. It really got me immersed in the One Piece universe. Even the random enemies you encountered had some really fun designs. A lot of the mini bosses was cool as well. Every time I encountered a new enemy, even one that I recognized from the show, I was looking forward to seeing its moveset. Real dope stuff. There was a few mechanics in the game I really thought was cool and clever, like the artifact system. I thought that was a real unique way to show character growth. And it was also a good way to pay homage to the characters we love from the series with using their actual clothing as accessories and using the weapons they used as well. I also really enjoyed the memory cube system. I thought that was a great way to show skill progression in the game. The normal reveling system that comes with RPGs was cool as well. Really generous with the XP. Wasn't a lot of grind that needed to be done. Now, none of these systems ever felt overwhelming or confusing at any point. They did a great job explaining these systems and implementing them throughout the story as you went through the beginning parts of the game. Now, this is especially good for JRPGs, which have such long gameplay times. The fact that Oda was directly involved in the story is also amazing. It's even to the point where a lot of the plots in this story seems like it's actual spoilers to the original manga material. Especially if you like making theories like I do when it comes to One Piece. The plot of this game is very intriguing. There's a lot going on here. And it comes from the original author. So there's that. Now, it should be pretty obvious that I'm a huge One Piece fan. Just look at the channel for the last recent months. So there's going to be some bias here. Well, probably a lot of bias when it comes to this review. But look, this is actually a very good game. There's no cap on that. The fact that I was able to complete this game is a testament to that. You see, I play a lot of games on this channel, a lot of different games, a lot of different genres, and I don't always get to complete these games in their entirety. This is one of the very few games I've played on the channel that I was able to complete it all the way through. And I also created a bunch of side content connected to this game as well. So that's also a testament to how good this game is. I had a blast playing this game basically all year. I played it a lot off camera. I also did the entire playthrough, about 45 episodes. So this game is definitely a 9 out of 10 in my opinion. Overall, One Piece Odyssey offers an engaging adventure that will undoubtedly satisfy both JRPG fans and diehard fans of the franchise. So with that, we have another great installment in the One Piece gaming series. There you go. That's my review of One Piece Odyssey.